Okay, Lee, this is a quick video um, showing my system, uh, some of the stuff I do. So this is the Back to the Future 2 uh, Nike footwear bag that Marty takes the mags and the jacket out of. Um, all the ones that have been made so far have been made out of cardboard and I decided I wanted to make a plastic version. So after a lot of money and a lot of experimentation, I settled on vac forming because it's duplicatable and um, easy to to do basically. This tube bag was actually made on positive tooling and what I'll show you is the parts that I'm not happy with. So to get this recess done properly um, I really had to heat the plastic up to the point where you can see here uh, if I zoom it in it's actually kind of melted it a bit and to get a really tight pull there um, also see the split like it was just it just wouldn't pull down over that distance this tool was about I think that's about inch and a half and I think the tool was two inch deep and then I had to trim it because it, it basically flared out it didn't pull down tight so what I did to fix this problem was I went to a female or a negative tool instead of a male tool now this is it here, um, this is basically a dog bowl, which is the same, it is the same tool that I ended up using for that and just repurposed it, it's a dog bowl, um, I cut it down to the right height and then I've placed it inside um, an epoxy and aluminium filled um, shroud if you will, which allows me, to, I've still got to put framing and stuff on this, but it still works. I actually screwed my plastic in through these holes. Um, but I'm going to put plates and stuff on it so I can just clamp it all down eventually and make uh, change over much faster. But effectively, it's a, a hollow cavity with a single hole under here. And because this plate in the middle is not sealed, the air is able to be sucked in from underneath it. Plastic sits on top. Here's one of the parts that I've pulled from this mould, from this tool. So as you can see that sits nicely on there. Heat this plastic up, uh, there's a rubber seal goes in under here and then it's all screwed in so it's nice and tight. Heated to about 180 degrees, this is 4.5 mil plastic by the way, 180 degrees and then pull it down. Now I am using a vacuum pump and a vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner provides surge and then I switch, switch over to the vacuum pump which allows me to take it to the full uh, 30 inches of mercury. A vacuum cleaner is about 6 inches. But the key point is, check out how sharp these lines go. Now that's the full height of the tool, of the part that I wanted. So we can just stand that up for you. So that's um, a little bit over, I think it's two and a quarter inch. And look how sharp those lines are there. And then in here, razor sharp. Now, what the really cool part about this process is that when you're doing this, if you need a 10 mil, like in this case, 10 mil um, raised section here, which is a recess, you got to remember, you got to think everything is in reverse to what you... When you build a tool, it's going to be reversed to what the final part will be. Uh, and a 25 mil gap here, or one inch gap, it can't get any bigger than that. It, the maximum size it can be is the tool. And it will pull out whatever um, edges and radiuses you have on the tool is what you end up with your final part. If you add text or imperfections, like you add detail, you can put um, texturing stuff here, it will press into the plastic. So, um, really, really cool. The, the best part about this process is I went through probably eight or nine sheets to make the two end caps for this tube bag. Once I'd worked out my plastic thickness on this tool, um, probably two or three sheets, I was able to make part after part after part exactly the same. So, no problems there at all. So, um, I would consider, or I'd like you to consider possibly going this route. I think you can, your, 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 part, your product is, um, has such potential, man. It's great, fantastic, and I'm so glad someone's actually doing what you're doing. 
Um, but I think you could you could step it up, man, so much and offer really, really cool parts. So these things here, because I've got a heap of these spare, I was actually thinking about doing like a Death Star or maybe a Vespin playset um, thing myself. But um, right for now, it's it's to do with a tube bag, which I want to do another run of. And um, but I thought I'd just share that with you because yeah, this is um, this is certainly a very cool thing. Now, as to your uh, sticking issues, so yeah, I sent you the message about the um, drilling the hole and using compressed air. In this one here, um, if I pull this down to full 30 inches, and that's sucked down and then I open the valve to, to atmospheric pressure, the inrush of air just blows this part straight up and just ejects it, pops it straight out of the mould. So that's another plus as well. So, you know, um, to make the moulds, they're not, I don't think they're any more expensive to, like I'm, I'm not using MDF, this is you know, proper tooling epoxy, and it's stainless steel bowl and aluminium and, so it's not cheap to do these tools, but the cost of making a male tool versus a female tool is about the same. It just takes a little bit thinking outside the box to come up with a negative tool because you've got to remember you make make it deeper or as deep as what you want the part to be high when it's um, when it, when you take it out of the part. So um, well, I thought I'd show you that anyway. Um, look, happy to um, converse with you about this and and. Um, you know, it's nothing, nothing better than having like-minded people helping you out on a project. So, um, yeah, absolutely, man. If you want to um, have longer chats or even do a live um, video call one day, I'm, I'm good with that. Um, we'll just have to work out the time difference, that's all. But anyway, hopefully this has um, helped you out a little bit. And, uh, man, good luck with this venture because I think it's fantastic. Thank you.